welcome to the Essential Grid tutorials. This is the fifth video in our series on setting up Essential Grid for your WordPress site. My name is Sarah Oates from Endure Web Studios and so far we've done a lot with Essential Grid. By now you should be having Essential Grid on your WordPress site, you should have blogs going into making a grid, should be looking pretty good by this point. We've also gone through filtering and now the next step is to tweak those skins. So the skins that come out of the box with Essential Grid are pretty good and if you wanted to you could just pick one of the skins and you're off and ready to go. But if they're not quite doing what you want them to do, which my experience is a lot of them are good but they just do something that I didn't quite want them to do, then there's a few things you can do to tweak them. We're not going to go into heaps of detail here, but just things like changing the information that shows up when you hover over it. Um, so we're going to head into the back end and see what we can do. So as you come to this section where you're looking at the skins and you're selecting which skin you want to use, my suggestion is to find the one that most matches what you want to do. So for, say for example, you like this one, but you don't really like the blue, or you like it, but you don't really like the... Um, the little hover effect. Um, you like how this flips up but you'd like it if you, it had a different colour or these came in on and like just blurred in, something like that. So select the one that you most like that's sitting the most close to what you want and then what we're going to do is edit that one. But instead of editing it directly, what you want to do is duplicate the skin. The reason for that is if you muck around with it heaps and you make heaps of changes and then you absolutely hate it, then you can just delete it and start all over again and you've still got your original. So here is our duplication. It usually gets stuck right up at the back. And then what we do is click on edit skin. All right, so we're in here and ready to edit. So the first thing that you need to do is change the name. You don't have to do this, but I think it makes sense because then it's less confusing later when you're trying to work out which one goes with which. And often what I do is name it something that fits to do with the page. So our page that we're working with we called weddings, um, so you might um, weddings skin. All right, so we've given it a name, and now we can start editing. So, say for example, you just wanted one of these buttons. The thing that doesn't make sense about this particular one is if you click on this button, it's going to bring up a light box of the image, but that's just your cover image, which doesn't really make sense to have a light box in my opinion. I think you really just want to go straight into the actual blog. So maybe you want to have this icon, but you just want it to go straight into the blog itself. Um, so what you need to do is click on the one you don't want, and you'll get a little purple thing next to it, and then you can say remove. And again with the title, you can click on it and you can say remove, and then you've got nothing left there. If you're wanting text and you deleted something and you're thinking, oh no, I still actually really wanted some text there, then what you can do is come down here and drag it up. Put it in whatever zone you want it. So we might stick it right in the middle there. And it's going to show up there. When you click on title, over here on the left-hand side, it's going to give you a few settings to do with that particular element. So at the moment it's saying it's bringing in information from the post and the information it's bringing in is the title. But you can click on that and you can bring in the excerpt, you can bring in the date, all sorts of things. So this is a lot of fun and it means you can bring lots of bits of information. You can bring multiple bits of information up from here and change them. So one thing says the title, another says the excerpt, the other says the date and you can stick them all throughout. Um, and then you can also give them different animations. So you might, this one currently is set to flip down, but we might say we want it to fade in. So fading in isn't about the fade effect itself. The in part is whether it's on hover or off hover. So in means as you're coming over it, out means as you're leaving it, and always visible means that it's always there. Then you've obviously got a delay. Um, at the moment, that's quite a big delay. As you can see, when you click on this one, that's only got a 10 second delay. So you might want them to be equal. Um, so we might give that one a 10 as well. Not 10 seconds, sorry. Um, I guess it's 10 millisecond. Okay, and then you have the link information. So at the moment, the title is not set to link to anything. Whereas this little icon here is set to go to the light box. We actually want this one to go into the post. And so we'll click on post here. So now when you click on it, it's going to go into the post and it's going to stay on the same tab. It's not going to go outside of itself. 
Um, there's a lot of things you can muck around with here. So with this title here, you can change the font, you can change the spacing between it, you can give borders and backgrounds and shadows. And there's a lot of fun things that you can do with it. So I'd encourage you to play with that. You can change what it does on hover. So maybe you want it to change the color when it, when you hover over it. Um, so, you know, you can muck around. There's, there's kind of endless things that you can do with this. And I think that's one of the beautiful things about Essential Grid is it gives you a really great thing out of the box. But if you want to, you can tweak it a whole lot and make something completely new. Now, the other thing that you can edit is the actual background itself. So if you click on layer composition, then you're going to start to edit what's behind these things here. Um, so you might want to change the cover. Maybe you want the cover to be orange instead of black, or you still want it black, but you just wanted to like make it a bit more subtle. So lower the opacity. Um, you can come in here with the animation and you can choose a different fade effect, a different effect. So you might want to um, give one of these other options a try. We'll just leave it on fade for now. We're pretty happy with what it had out of the box. We just want to change those bits of information. Or for example, maybe what you want is you want the whole background itself to link into the post, but you don't want any information to show up. Well, then you can just delete all these things out. Or say you want to just delete that one out. Have the title show up, but actually have the background be the thing that's the link in. Then you can do that through layer composition, link, change it to uh, cover, and then link it. So it's saying, I want the cover itself to link and I want it to go to the post. And then the whole of the cover would then suddenly become a link itself. We'll leave that at none for now. And then we will click save. So these are just a few little tweaks that you can do. There's endless possibilities, which I think is fantastic. The one thing I'd love to see more of is a bit more options down here of some of the icons that you could bring up. But I think there's a pretty good set there. It's more than just what's there. There's a whole other page of them. So if you've got a shop going on, you can um, use those ones as well. And then what you do is you come back into your essential grid and we've just got to apply that. All right, so this is our test one that we're working on. Clicked on settings, we'll come into the skin, go right to the end, find wedding skin and select it by clicking on the bar. So now the wedding skin is active and you can even see an example here. So already that's um, working. We'll just click save grid and come over here and refresh our page. All right, so now when we hover over it, we're getting our name with no link. And then when you hover over, you can click on the actual magnifying glass and it's going to take you into the blog post, which is exactly what we wanted it to do. So I'd really encourage you guys to have a lot of fun with it. Have a bit of a play. Don't be too scared of it. The skin editor, as long as you duplicate, you can't go too wrong. And you might find that you can find some really nice effects and get it to do exactly what you're looking for it to do. I hope that this has been useful for you. In our next video, we're going to change tunes completely and we're going to create a, um, a lightbox version. So we're going to basically be creating this portfolio. So stick around for the next video and you'll be able to see how to bring actual images. So not blog posts, but bring vi videos or images in and create a really nice effect. I'll see you in the next video.